Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Now, a lot of you have asked for more RC plane videos. So what I'm gonna do is from now until Christmas or maybe even over the winter, I'll start posting some RC plane videos, which should be pretty cool because we're gonna get snow here and planes are gonna fly in the snow. But today I'm gonna talk about the planes that got me into the RC plane hobby. So I'm a drone guy and I've been flying drones, but do you know if you fly a drone, you can take that knowledge of flying a drone and easily transfer it to flying an RC plane and an RC plane plane is almost just as easy as flying a drone. So if you're a drone pilot, you might want to get into the RC plane hobby for the simple reason that you don't need a lot of space to fly an RC plane. Doesn't matter how big they are, these are really big. People do not complain about RC planes. As a matter of fact, they'll stop, stand and watch you flying because it's so comforting to watch a plane up in the sky. It's so relaxing to see it. You'll never have anybody complain about RC planes, but you will about drones. So the RC plane hobby is very popular. Now, I only taught myself how to fly RC planes on the 1st of May of the year 2022, which is this year if you're watching this in 2022. And I can fly planes pretty darn good now. But when I began, I had to begin with something that was made for a beginner and it was pretty much ready to fly out of the box. So this is what I have here. These are the planes that you can buy that will get you into the RC hobby. And they're beautiful planes because they're not like little beginner tiny planes. These are professional large planes. Look at the size of these things they are huge planes that look just gorgeous when they're flying and they fly like a dream so this one is made by hobby zone and it's called the aero scout 1.1 meter there is a smaller version stay away from that one this is the one you want and this is made by hobby zone as well and it's the carbon cub s2 and they're both amazing so if you have no gear for flying planes you can get these in a ready to fly package that means they come with a radio controller ready to go already configured to the plane with a receiver they come with a battery and a battery charger and the plane this one over here you can also get it with floats just in case you want to go and land on water or take off on water you can get the float kit it's very inexpensive you can also get this one with a landing assist module which fits in the bottom it's just a little module that sits there there's a spot for it and what it does is when the plane is low to the ground and you're bringing it down for a landing it will control the throttle so that it doesn't stall and nose into the ground and so that it lands nice and smooth but I don't have that on this model and uh, the float kit I did buy but I probably won't use it with this model but if you want to see what this looks like with floats here's someone else's video I'll put it over here you can see it going around with floats taking off from the water and flying it's pretty cool these planes you can also fly in the winter because you can take the wheels right here and attach little skis so once again I'll show you a video here this is this one here flying in the winter with skis on so you can have a lot of fun if you have these planes no matter what the season is but eventually like me you're gonna get addicted to the RC plane hobby and you'll want your own radio that's totally programmable with tons of switches, tons of memory to put all sorts of models in it. I probably have about 50 different planes in this one, as well as a few drones. Each switch does a different thing. I've configured it the way I like. So I would highly suggest if you want to get into the hobby and get your own radio, this one doesn't exist anymore. It's off the market, but there's new ones on the market. And the best one to get for someone just getting into the market is this one, the NX6 by Spectrum. If you get that radio, you can then buy all all the Horizon Hobby planes and there are tons of them. So before I jump into the video, last thing to say is both of these planes are very forgiving in the air. They fly very slow if you want or very fast. They won't fall out of the sky unless you force them to fall out of the sky and crash into the ground. You can actually add weight to them. I've put cameras on these, all sorts of things, extra weight, and they're so forgiving. They fly so nice. So next thing I'm going to show you is me taking these out and flying them in a field on a short runway and also landing them and taking them off in heavy grass because you can do that you don't need a lot of area to fly these planes that's how awesome they are and they are once again professional planes so if you become really good at flying now I've got a lot of experience I can fly really well I still fly these planes and man when you learn how to fly even better than when you began these things fly like a dream it's it's amazing how well they fly if you're new to the hobby and you don't know how to fly a plane at all you've never flown an RC plane before and you're wondering what's everything how does everything work on the radio well I'm going to show you a quick segment on that, how everything works on every single plane in the world. And then uh, you can either skip over it if you already know that and get to the next part or uh, watch it. So uh, check this out. This is an RC plane. Let's go over the parts of the plane really quick that you need to know to fly an RC plane. So the first item you have up here, that would be your motor. Yes, quite obvious. Over here, these are ailerons and I can move them. There we go. See them moving here? And in the back right here, that's your elevator to go up and down. 
so you can fly up and down. And over here, that is a rudder. That's to go also help you with left and right. Also steering on the ground. This is a typical radio that you can use in the RC hobby for drones, FPV drones, RC helicopters, RC planes, RC cars, RC boats, anything you want, RC tanks even. So let me show you how everything works with an RC plane. In North America, we like to use this joystick to control the throttle to make the plane or whatever we have go slower or faster by moving it. That's called mode two. If the throttle is on the right, that's called mode one. So wherever you live in the world, you'll have a mode. So in North America, we pretty much use mode two. So our motor's up front and this controls the throttle. So you have from zero to 100% proportional. When you fly a plane, you usually fly it at about 40, 50, or 60%. And when you take off, you move the throttle slowly up faster and faster and faster, as opposed to doing this. Because if you do that with an RC plane, the torque from the motor may cause your plane to spin out on the ground. So that was up and down. Now, if we go left and right, we have our rudder back here. Watch this, left and right. So when you're on the ground, you see that wheel at the back? You can steer yourself, or if the wheel's in the front, it will steer it. As well, when you're flying, it causes the nose of the plane to turn left or right. Next, we move over to the right joystick, and that would be your ailerons right here. So moving it that way, you go to the left, and moving it that way, you fly to the right. So you see the ailerons go up and down. This is how you steer an RC plane in the air. You do not have to use the rudder to steer. When you get better, you can use rudder and ailerons at the same time, and you can do really tight turns. But if you're a beginner, just use this one to steer right and left while you're flying. And finally, this is the joystick you use if you push it forward to make your nose go down to bring your plane close to the ground, or pull it all the way back to bring your plane and cause it to go way up in the sky. So watch what happens to the elevator. You push it forward. Elevator goes down, that causes the tail end to go up and the nose to go down. Pull it back, elevator goes up, that causes the tail end to go down and nose to go up. So for drone pilots, we're used to making our drones go up and down with this joystick here. The higher you push it up, the more the drone goes up in the air. But on a plane, you have to use this one and pull it backwards. Do not push it forward, pull it backwards and your plane will go up in the air to go higher and higher. And if you wanna bring it down lower to the ground, you push that one. Most times as a beginner, you probably won't push your plane down to the ground, you'll just put less and less throttle here with the left one. As soon as you bring this throttle down to like next to no power, the plane naturally glides down towards the ground for landing. And now a short demonstration of how easy it is to fly both of these large planes on a very small field. My plan is to fly and land both planes off this very tiny cricket pitch. First up, we have the Aero Scout. This plane is very simple to operate. Just pull off the canopy. It's held in place by magnets and then put in a battery. Taxi it down the cricket pitch, pull back on the elevator, and next thing you know, you're up in the air and flying. You steer the plane using your ailerons and the plane does all the work for you. As a beginner, you're gonna leave your throttle at about 50 or 60%. The plane is gonna continue to fly and you just use the right joystick to move it from left to right or down and up as you desire. To land an RC plane, it is as simple as flying into the wind and reducing the throttle to almost zero. The plane will slowly come down to the ground as it's about to touch the ground, slightly pull down on the right joystick and this will cause the nose to lift up a little bit and the wheels will touch and you'll have a beautiful landing. The Aero Scout is also capable of taking off and landing on grass. Just make sure the grass does not exceed three quarters of the wheel diameter. All right, enough about the Aero Scout. Let's move on to the Carbon Cub S2. Now, if I didn't already mention it, both of these RC planes run on a 3S battery, and that 3S battery is included if you buy the Ready to Fly kit. To place the battery in the Carbon Cub S2, just open the bottom hatch, attach the battery, close everything up, lay it flat, and the plane will adjust itself and it's ready to fly. To take off, slowly push up on the left joystick while pulling down on the right joystick. Once off the ground, you can steer the plane with the right joystick as long as the left joystick is 50% throttle or higher. Mm -hmm. 
Landing this RC plane is no different than landing any other RC plane. Reduce the throttle to almost zero. As the plane is about to touch the ground, slowly pull down on the right joystick to cause the nose to go up and you have a beautiful landing. The Carbon Cup can also take off and land in grass. Once again, just make sure the grass is not higher than the wheels and uh, you'll have no problem. So here you can see it taking off in the grass, not an issue, and you'll see it landing as well. I should also mention that both planes come with a 3S 2200 milliamp hour LiPo battery and if you use that LiPo battery to fly, you are gonna get 10 minutes of flight time. So there you have it. These are the two planes that got me into the RC plane hobby. If you wish to get into the RC plane hobby, I highly suggest you buy one of these ready to fly kits where you get everything. And if you ever damage or crash or break any of these planes, you can buy this stuff called foam tack. It's a type of glue for foam. You just glue everything back together. It is so awesome. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have questions on these planes, post your questions below. There are links below to where you can find these planes. I think they're on Amazon too, so you might be able to find them on Amazon. Great Christmas gift if you're trying to get a gift for yourself or somebody else, great idea. So uh, with all that said, I say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in another video with RC planes and drones in the future. Until then, I say bye.